Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to look at Sandal Crows, take a symbol SNDL. And if you happen to like this video or find this video helpful, make sure to press that like and subscribe button. It really helps me out. But also make sure to subscribe so you never miss out a video and hopefully learn from my video. And other than that, we'll get straight into the video. So we're looking at SNDL today. And you know, prior to what I said yesterday, I said that we are going to look at a pullback very soon because we did buy it on news. And you can see that today was on news. I did have someone asking me yesterday whether or not they should average down. And you know, I, I do think averaging down on any stocks that you like is a good price, it's a good thing, but it's always understanding at what price should we average down. And so like I said, you know, I said we, we are gonna be expecting a pullback soon, you know, and, and when in the pullback, you should then think about if you are, are thinking about by, um, averaging down, then that's when you should average down. You can see that we had a pullback of to, to 1.51, and you know, the area that I've given out here, we're roughly close to this area. So we can see that there is some sort of significance in this area. Of course, if you can see, if we just drag it out a bit longer, you can see that it kind of touches the area and then rejected. So it's a good support. And you know, I've had this for a while now. This isn't something I just put out now because I just suddenly see it and I'm like, oh, let me put it in for this video. I've had this out for a long time now. So, you know, that's why you always got to make sure you never miss out a video because I always give out important information in every video. I always give out nice technical information that maybe you, I think you should look out for. But again, I'm not a financial advisor. Make sure you do your own due diligence and make sure to take my opinions with a grain of salt. You know, we look at some uh, article first and then we get in more with this technical analysis. So we're looking at the article and it's really six reasons, uh, six things to watch for when Sound Growth releases earnings this week. And that's um, actually tomorrow, the 17th of March, after market close. You know, the first thing, and I think, you know, I've again mentioned this a lot, is cash, cash, and cash. So they're sitting on $610 million in unrestricted cash. And you know, I've said this because the reason why this is important is obviously because with this cash, they're able to do more things, which will then increase the value of the company and allow them to grow even higher. And that's why I feel like everyone should be paying attention to how they use their cash. So again, that's very important. You know, there's a cost per gram, there's the impairment charges, there's SGNA, which is selling general administrative uh, expenses, general admin cost of um, Canadian dollars of 7.2 million. We're down 42.3% from prior year period while sales, you know, so they bring down their cost. This is something that good is something that we are and we should be um, looking for and, you know, watch out for. Their, re their net revenue, one of the most dis disappointing numbers in Q3 was Sundial's top line. In the growth industry, investors don't want to see the sales falling, but that's what happened last quarter. The company's net revenue of Canadian dollars of 12.9 million declined in an incredible 54% from the same period last year. So of course there's the net revenue. And again, this is something, you know, SNDL is not a company where it's still starting off, you know, they're kind of, they're trying to, it's already established in, and that's why their sales number is very important that we should look at. So, you know, these are the things you should, again, like I, like the article suggests, six things to watch out for. Um, I'm kind of highlighting what I think are more important to look at. And then finally is the M&A, perhaps the most intriguing item to watch in Q4, has nothing to do with numbers at all. In Q3, Sundell said that its managing is going under, undergoing a strategic alternative review, which may or may not lead to a transaction. Given the company's cash accumulation, this being the all-important year and when the business normally announces any significant developments in the works, investors should look for an update on mergers and acquisitions. This item is last on the list because it's probably the most obvious one for Sundial investors. Speculation of a possible deal is likely why shares of the pot stock have already tripled over year to date. And, you know, that kind of links in with the cash, cash and cash, you know. With the 610 million, they're able to do more um, M&A, mergers and acquisitions. And, you know, I've been saying this for a while now um, about how we should be watching out for the 610 million cash and that how, you know, their merger and acquisitions and these strategies that they're using are what's going to ultimately lead s and to be you know, the powerhouse they will be in the future. It's how well they use the money they have now, uh, continue to, you know, operate on the money they have and then kind of grow and snowball and roll on from there. So I've been saying this for quite a while now. And that's why when, you know, SNDL was down here, I was like, this is actually a great price to buy at. I do think that we are seeing more opportunities. You know, even if you've been looking from there today, it's still 32%. If you look from here to obviously to the highest 54% and it depends on the price you got at, you're obviously making more. And that's, you know, I've been saying this and I was saying that we should be looking out. The reason why obviously here was because we made a joint venture. So, you know, again, this kind of links down to how important it is to watch out for when a company has so much unrestricted cash, you need to watch out how they operate it. But, you know, we're now looking at technical analysis, kind of right now we're coming back down to this um, support area. And I think it's fine that we see a, uh, such a large drop. If you look at the volume, the volume hit today, is the same pretty much, you know, coming to close as of yesterday, obviously a little bit slower, uh, lower, but 
you know, we can still see that it's quite similar volume, but that's, you know, okay. And I, I, I kind of expected this and I've said this, the reason why um, we are seeing this is obviously because people who have got in and kind of um, now just seeing the positions going to the green due to the, obviously the recent um, bullish momentum will be looking to take their profit. But again, there's always buy the room and sell the news. And yesterday, because of the news, obviously everyone looked bought of it. And it was quite a good gain. You know, if we're looking at people who bought from here to, you know, 21%. And then obviously there were people taking a lot of profit. So a lot of people from the volume is kind of suggesting people who bought in um, yesterday are kind of selling today. Um, kind of they're just taking this quick profit. So that's why I said that for anyone who wanted to buy a pullback, you know, we, we are going to see a pullback soon. And, you know, because it, it was kind of when a stock has news like this, the next day, or the next few days they tend to have a pullback because people are finally you know content with their profit so we are seeing this but regardless you know it's still kind of respecting respecting this double bottom so this is quite good we are seeing this support right now i kind of want to see how we react to this support you know so far so good but we do have to see of how tomorrow goes you know because right now all the volume is kind of you know gone here but we are coming kind of seeing more more and more people coming to SNDL. Again, the stimulus check is also another thing people are kind of investing into SNDL. We do have to see more kind of positive news and more kind of the strategies for them for, for every investor to understand that there is even more potential for SNDL in the future. So that's why right now we are kind of seeing movements like this. But you know, for anyone who's scared right now, you know, again, people are kind of taking short-term profits. People who bought around here, when they see a drop like this, and they finally see that they're back in profit, their mindset is kind of like, oh, I'm finally back in um, break even now. I'm in a little bit of profit. I don't want to go back to when I'm, you know, people who bought in here when they go down here, they would look, they lost fifty-one percent. They were like, oh, I don't want to see that 50, minus fifty-one percent. So they will sell. So this is kind of normal, and I just kind of expected this, and I said that in my last video as well. I said, watch out for a, you know a recent sell-off. Again, you know, obviously we ended above that 164. So it was kind of another reason why we were going to see another sell-off. I didn't want to see obviously um, close above 164, but you know, all in all, this is something that we should be expecting. And I kind of did state this in my last video, so make sure you never miss that video. But yeah, other than that guys, you know, kind of we are going to see good momentum and good news in SNDL now. We are seeing more investors coming in. So I'm not really worried about SNDL. You know, again, people who are going at this price should definitely not worry. But we do have to see how they go out in the future. But yeah, that is it for the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, make sure to press that like and subscribe button. Turn your notifications. Comment down below what you guys think about SNDR. Other than that, enjoy your day.